Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what happens when a fraction is multiplied by its reciprocal. Well, let's find out. Suppose you have a fraction by, let's just say, 10 thirteenths. Now, when you multiply by its reciprocal, as you know with the reciprocal, you have to flip the fraction. So the reciprocal of 10 thirteenths is 13 over 10. Now, what happens here is, when you multiply fractions, the, the 13s here cancel, and the 10s cancel, and you're left with a 1 all over the place. So when you multiply all cross, you're going to end up with the number 1. So, in this case, 10 thirteenths times its reciprocal, 13 tenths, gives you the number 1. Now, let's do another quick example. If you have negative 99 over 82, and you want to multiply by its reciprocal, which is going to be negative 82 over 99, let's see what happens. Negative times a negative is going to give you a positive, so we're going to leave the positive as is. And, as you can tell, the 99s will also cancel, and the 82 is also cancel because one's the numerator, one's in the denominator, and you're left with ones all over the place, and you're left with positive one. So what happens here is this is a no coincidence. When you take any fraction and multiply it by its reciprocal, you will always end up with the number one, positive one, as a matter of fact. So that will always be the case. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's what happens when you have a fraction multiplied by its reciprocal.